a servant will be raised after death from his grave according to his hay'ah, how he was in prayer. Min is sukun utmanina. To what degree were they present in their prayer and such that they had stillness and tranquility in their prayer? Wa takun rahatu fil mawqif ala qadri rahatihi wa tana'umi bis salah. So imagine, yawm al qiyamah, which is subjectively from two light rakats to 50,000 years, people experience it somewhere in that realm. Is that your raha, your repose, your repose on the day of judgment will be according to that your repose in prayer. In other words, that the more that we have tana'am, that we actually enjoy praying, the more that we find pleasure in praying, the more that we are comfortable praying, the more that we that have presence of heart in our prayer, that will directly translate on Yom Al-Qiyamah to how it is that we experience that day. The more repose we have in prayer, the more repose on Yom Al-Qiyamah. Is that the more that we enjoy our prayers, the less that we'll fear on Yom Al-Qiyamah al It directly relates to how we are in prayer. What are we in a ma'na hadha? And Abi Hurair, this is a mawkuf, that meaning that is narrated by one of the Sahaba, by uh, that Abu Hurairah. And Imam Musa says, Walaqad Sadaq. So he's told the truth. And then he quotes the meaning of a hadith. The hadith in Sahih Muslim, Yub'ath kullu abdan ala ma mata alayh. Every servant will be raised according to how it is that they died. Right? Their state of when they died will be how they're raised. And so that if we love prayer and enjoy prayer and start to find the halawa and the sweetness of prayer and find pleasure in the prayer, the way we experience Yom Qiyamah is going to be very different than the way we've experienced it were we to have been deficient in that.